In today's video we're going to be checking out all the new information we have about the next upcoming weapon which is the SCAR H in the 1.32 update. And this weapon could be the next meta in this game because it's a proclaimed the best assault rifle. So first of all, let's try to get the approximate amount of damage that this weapon can output. For example, the SCAR L and SCAR H have different types of bullets. Which is the SCAR L has the 5.56 ammunition that we have in the M4, the SG and the AUG. However, the SCAR H uses 7.62 ammunition just like the AK-47 and the HK-417. Meaning that this weapon could hypothetically one shot somebody in the head even if they have Kevlar or not. And before we head on to more information about this weapon, let's check out a glimpse of what the developers told about this weapon. Scar H is coming. Scar H will be the second scoped assault rifle in the assault rifle category. It comes equipped with a 20 bullet magazine, a green dot, and a fire rate of 650, making it one of the most powerful guns in the AR category. So just like I just in that clip, this weapon has a scope which does eliminate its aim assist features even if you have that enabled. Now unlike the AR-15 that has like a holographic scope, this one has some kind of a 3x or 2x scope with a green dot on it. It's probably also gonna have the same amount like the scoping power of the AR, it's just a different type of scope. So we already know that the weapon is going to be available in the next update, however this update will be released as the beta option only next week, so stay tuned for that. So this weapon has the fire rate of 650, which is just barely slower than the M4, which is practically the fastest assault rifle in this game, other than the SA-58, which is just a burst, which you could just spam the living Christ out of your screen with that. But this weapon has quite a fast fire rate, despite having only 20 bullets in it. So you're gonna run out of ammo real quick. And that's why this weapon comes in with 5 extra magazines, so in total you will have 120 bullets with this weapon. Now this weapon will be available for both factions, and the price of this weapon is not known, but it could possibly be somewhere the HG or the AUG type of price, because this weapon is quite strong based on its statistics that we supposedly know. And for those that did not understand anything that I said in this video, I'm just gonna read off what the developers said in the patch notes. <laughs> Do bear in mind with the accent and I'm not gonna bother, just if I mess up, I'm just gonna mess up, okay? The SCAR H is positioned as the most powerful assault rifle in the game. An expensive long distance assault rifle able to run toe to toe with snipers. Do they have toes? The SCAR H becomes more accurate as you keep firing. It also has a high fire rate of 650, we already addressed that. For this reason, it's best suited for burst fire rather than single tap shots. Just keep on bursting or just go full on drum mag with this weapon. Has a clip size of 20 bullets, okay never mind, be careful with how many bullets you just shoot. And becomes equipped with 5 clips, which means 120 bullets in total. It also works similar to the AR-15, does it though? And is aimed down sight mechanics, basically a scope. The SCAR H gains a significant increase in accuracy using aimed down sights compared to hip fire. I do hope so, because for the AR-15, I did not use the scope at all. Like, it's dumpster fight if you use the scope. Like, just hit fire that weapon, but it, it did get patched up, like, you know. So, we'll see when we get to play with this. The SCAR H has no aim assist. Okay, I'm not gonna use this weapon. Goodbye. And the last thing we know about this weapon is its skins. Like, we have seen two of the skins already leaked to us. First of all, this first skin we have is the Flat Dark Earth skin. It's basically the default of the non-default of the default skin for the SCAR H. 
and this skin will be completely free and it's also a tier 5. Now the way to get this skin, it's going to be available in the mail system of this game once the 1.32 beta or also the global version gets released. And plus I think it's only going to be available for this specific update because they did say that it is like a limited time skin. Like you do get the skin forever, but there's a limited time when you can redeem it, okay? Does that make sense? Because I hope, sure hope so. Second of all, we have this skin, which it's probably a tier five, no doubt about it. However, there's no idea what this skin's name is, but it does look really cool as a greenish, reddish, cyanish, blackish, just a mess of colors and some kind of graffiti of a skull blasting out some flames on it. Anyways, that is it for the score H of this video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, make sure to press that like button as it really helps me out and subscribe to stay tuned with new information about Critical Ops. But for now, enjoy my crappy gameplay. I mean professional gameplay. It is not crappy at all. Too far away, you're too far away to